Yeah. What's going on there? Just shove it. What, you just shove the toes up there? Yeah. <laughs> they do things really funny in New Zealand, don't they? <laughs> Today, Hannah and I are going spearfishing with Jackson and Sophie again. The weather is much better than last time and hopes are high. Once we clear the coastal bar, we can flat stick it all the way to the first dive spot. As usual, stunning scenery in New Zealand. It's our last full day in New Zealand. Jackson and Sophie have generously taken a day off work, suffered through it to come out on a lovely winter's day. Hopefully today we'll get some John Dory, maybe a snapper and a kingfish, because that's what we're looking for. But conditions are pretty nice. No wind, well, very little wind. Visibility looks much better than the last time we dived, so super excited to be here today. Oh, I've spilled coffee again! <laughs> and we just both got fully naked and had such a good time. And the boys... Ooh. Oh no! Oh. I can do that. Oh. <laughs> I can get it. It's not sinking! It's not sinking! Look, my gloves are like floating my fist. <sighs> See, that's a pro-level tip there. Yeah, pro-level tip. That's a pro-level tip. Keep your gloves inside your foot pockets so they don't sink when uh, they fall so over the side. Somebody clicks them off the line. Is that the only reason it didn't sink? I think so, yeah. Oh. Pro-level tips here. <laughs> pro-level tip. Jake's been ready for like 20 minutes. I've had a full yeah. pumping session. Well done. Well done. Anyone Sophie. wants some milk for breakfast? <laughs> Yeah. Sashimi, lobster, milk, it's all here. Yeah. Or it will be. After a serious amount of faffing, I was finally ready to get in. It just wasn't my day for haste. Jackson said this pinnacle can hold golden snapper, which I really wanted to spear. It was about 20 meters to the top and dropped straight down. After a few dives each, we didn't see any of the target species, but there were swarms of these demoiselle fish. Demoiselle actually translates to lady in French, much like mademoiselle translates to miss. The sheer number of these fish was an impressive sight. We, we might swim through the gap, but you can have all the best stuff. Oh, that's very generous, isn't it? It's up to you, you can take a long one if you want, and have a bit more power. If, you know, I don't want you coming back to the boat and going, oh, if only I had a bit more power. Yeah, but you beefed up the rubber on this anyway, didn't you? It's up to you. I shot with it the other day, it's fine. Okay. See ya. Thank you. Your whole mate's dive with the island. Oh. <laughs> I really wanted to try the burly method for snapper, so before I started properly diving, I found a likely looking drop off and got to work with a hammer and some kinner. Just set myself a nice little ground bait. About 10 kin up, smashed up with the hammer. Gonna swim around this island for a bit, then come back and check it out. Hopefully there's a dirty great big snapper waiting for me. This area was teeming with fish life. I was sure I'd run into a snapper soon. Not more than a minute later, I came across this gutter and spooked a few nice snapper. I set another ground bait here and kept on swimming. I make my way around the little island without seeing too much of interest, so back to the first ground bait. No snapper, just some king wrasse and a few other small fish. On to the next one. No snapper on this one either. Meanwhile, Jackson was doing what Jackson does best, finding snapper. You certainly don't need to dive deep in New Zealand for quality table species. On my swim back to the boat, I came across a shoal of these koheru, and I had heard they are great sashimi. Not an easy target due to the small size, but I was just happy to hit one. Oh, jeez, yours is much bigger than mine. 
I can't hear a word you're saying. It here. I shot one of those, but yours is much bigger. Ugh. Moving on to our next spot, Hannah got to work on getting some more kinna when she found a very frisky fish. We're not sure why the king wrasse was so aggressive, but perhaps it was the smell of kinna firing it up. If anybody knows why, please let us know in the comments. Meanwhile, I wanted to try and get a snapper, so I decided to take one of these silver drummer to use as ground bait. Silver drummer are not renowned for their eating qualities, and they are very plentiful in New Zealand. Using fish for burley is a surefire way to attract all sorts of predators, but during winter months, I was told the bronze whalers aren't so much of a problem. I set it down on a likely looking gutter and kept trying to snoop a snapper in the interim. It took a while to find a fish, but of course, when I did, I missed. After about 45 minutes, I returned to the ground bait, which you can see on the bottom with lots of smaller fish eating it. There is one pan-sized snapper, but my GoPro battery died just as I went to pull the trigger. I wasn't having much luck with this GoPro in New Zealand. Worst dive ever. GoPro ran out halfway down, started beeping, and then I saw one a bit bigger than this, and then I just had too much weight on it, just sank basically on top of the bait, and then this girl was trying to hide in the kelp. But anyway, it's a fish. It's a start. We had one final spot to check out, a small patch of reef about 24 meters deep, which in the summer holds John Dory. I knew there was a slim chance of finding one, but you don't catch fish sitting in a boat. No John Dory were spotted in our first few dives, so I decided to take one of these fat koheru out of a shoal in hopes of the commotion attracting a predator to the area. I was really hoping that something had been attracted by the shot for Jackson. It had been a very slow day on the fish front. Now that was smooth, a perfect shot on this tubby winter kingfish. Jackson has a large quantity of sashimi. <laughs> Woo! Yay! There's a nice fat winter kingfish. Was it one or many? Huh? One or many? Oh, small one with it as well. Give me that. Oh. Yay, well done. Nice job. Woohoo. With that kingfish in the boat, it was time to race home as we had the last supper with my family before leaving the country the next morning. <laughs> it's been an emotional couple of weeks here in New Zealand. Weddings, nieces, nephews, and some spearfishing as well. We've had some amazing diving. Great conditions today, really appreciative to Jackson and Sophie for taking us out. Very generous of them to take the time off work and spend it with us, showing us all that New Zealand has to offer. It's winter, it's not the best time for diving, but still had a heap of fun. The next stop for us is Australia, so stick around for all that sort of stuff. More kingfish, more snapper, and a hundred other species to look at as well. So see you on the next video.